hey, let's cut the back of this 300 piston to make sure you don't blow up. On a 17 to 24, 300, 250s really aren't that affected, but the 300s, yeah. So, when it's at bottom dead center, on the 300s from 17 to newer, the piston is shifted forward and that causes explosions. Twenty four, three hundred, TX, XC, SX, all the same. Mm, email me when available. Guess what? The two fifties are available right now, same site. Before we get the simple cutting going on, I have to say that there are some real dumbasses out there. Like proper, proper dumbasses that really shouldn't be living, breathing, or riding motorcycles. And one of the stupidest emails I ever got was last week. Well, I saw something about you cutting pistons. You know, I'm really concerned about that affecting my balance ratio with my counterbalancer. How does that affect, uh, you know, piston balance? You, and the first thing I thought is you're so stupid that you're more worried about something that you would never know instead of the thing just grenading, right? That's more important to you than that possibly hitting and it completely grenading. Let me tell you something, dumbass. If it hits, it will be the last concern on your mind. So, first we'll cut, and then guess what? I'm gonna show you something about your piston balance. Okay, now we clearance the piston. It's so simple, and I wouldn't get too carried away with overthinking how to do it. You just have to make some clearance on that thing. So I can use a file. I can use a coarse file. I can finish up with a fine file. I can use a fine file. I can use a little something like this. I could make a fixture, and I could hold it in the milling machine. You can't really use a lathe but I would get that technical with it. So let's zoom in here. Let's just do it with a file. I use these pistons, just so you know, this is a Wassner brand piston. This is what I sell now because it's forged and they won't break. And I got to cut this for customer anyhow. So I'm just going to go ahead and do it here. So I take a Sharpie pen. Now, honestly, I just, I do the stuff in the milling machine where I do have a little jig and it just makes it quick. Quick and clean and easy. So I just cut down to here on both sides and you can hold it. You could hold it with your hand like this. If I was a kid, heck man, I've made things in barns and England with sheep crap all over the place for Factory Kawasaki back in mid 2000s. I can work. I'm a hillbilly. I can do it. So you can go that route. It might be a little sharp on your outskirt, so you can use a fine tooth file. Okay, this is a stock cast piston from a 300. It weighs 256 grams. 256.6 grams. This is the one I just cut. Much stronger piston, forged, won't break, but the tab's cut off. 256.5. Wow, could they be more identical? That's the piston that you want to go for, is the one that we already sell with the tabs cut. This is from a 250. This is a 250 cast piston out of the same new KTM bike. 225.5. Three. That's the difference of an ounce. Okay, so me calling that guy a dumbass, there's two funny things about that. One, he was more concerned about a small little factor than the big picture. Your thing's scattering all over the place and you can't buy parts. But showing you those piston weights, the other funny aspect of it is, for those of you that are little anal andies and, andies and worried about that kind of stuff, well... The crankshaft in both the 250 and the 300 are the same. 
the counterbalancer in both bikes are the same. So which piston weight is it set for? One of y'all is losing. Hmm. That's how funny that is. <laughs> I do find that funny, actually. But now you know.